Hello, cool ass, it's Pablo here, and welcome back to Barca Universal. Welcome to the match review of Barcelona 0, Juventus 3. We've been embarrassed again in the Champions League. We finished second in our group on a night where you surely thought even this Barcelona side couldn't mess it up, but they did. It's a disaster. What's going on right now with this club? We're going to be dissecting all of that in today's video. My God, it's going to be raw emotions here right after full time. I'm fuming. I don't know where to go from here. What is going on? But I am going to try and structure the video in a nice digestible format whilst getting the valid and important points across that simply have to be discussed in this video. But we are going to be starting with the lineup. And I think right now when all the lineups come out, look, for this one in particular, we weren't exactly upset by it. But I just think nothing works. Nothing works with Barcelona right now. Doesn't matter if you've got wingers out there. Doesn't matter if you've got Messi out there. If it's no Busquets, no Roberto, no Pique. It doesn't really matter. It's the same sort of nonsense. I think we, again we look in the front line Messi and Griezmann Messi was really good tonight but Griezmann up there again didn't really touch the football Tsenkao on the right did nothing Pedri on the left did nothing tonight and it's just again what's going on up there De Jong weak in midfield Pjanic that he tried and he tried but he didn't really get much going either in the defense they got absolutely dominated really I'll give credit to Araujo who came in and th I thought did really really well in his first game back but you look again at Alba and Longley clowning around again at the back and for Barcelona I look at the lineup now and I don't even know what to say even if it's a good lineup nothing seems to be working so let's go on to that match action and I think it's fair to say Juventus started as the stronger team for this fixture they came in here with a lot more fight with a lot more ambition and I did worry that would be the case for this fixture look Juventus knew they needed to win 3-0 3-1 4-0 something like that to turn over this deficit and lead as top spot of course at the end of the night which we know they have done and Barcelona didn't really need to do much we just didn't need to get humiliated we did of course get humiliated but that means that we go into the game I think with the little with the level a little further down the Juventus did you saw that they were so much better than us in essentially every single aspect guys they ran all over us in the first 10 minutes they had more opportunities and it did look like a night for Barcelona where you thought this could be a long one this could be a really long one the bench was very animated all night for Juventus but it was actually a penalty that changed the complexion of the game really for me and can I just say guys this is an awful awful decision from the referee and it actually changes the game look I'm not going to put it on refereeing decisions today I'm absolutely not this Barcelona issue goes so much more than what the referees do but honestly this is not a penalty it just isn't Araujo he squares up to Ronaldo this is nothing they both lead into each other if anything I think Ronaldo leans more into the Uruguayan I cannot believe he's given it as a penalty and I think everyone was as shocked as me with that one what on earth was that decision Ronaldo gets his penalty and he sticks it in the corner he does his little celebration he gets all the headlines and again Juventus lead Barcelona in big big trouble and that's a shocking decision from the referee and it wasn't long after Juventus got their second because once it was 1-0 I think we were already playing really badly but after getting a bad decision against us on top of how poor we look right now it's literally the last thing I needed it's the last thing that us Barcelona fans wanted and of course the team out there were already struggling and now are 1-0 down and very soon guys it was to be 2-0 because it's McKenney who gets on the end of a great ball really into the area I think it's from Cuadrado in the end great all round play from Juventus there were a lot of players involved and it's Weston McKenney, the young USA international who bolted who just almost blasts it into the net guys a really great finish from him and he bolted into the penalty area fair enough to him that's Juventus best goal of the night for sure and Juventus lead by two goals to nil and I think once it was 2-0 within 20 minutes with the way the game was going with the way Barcelona look right now we all thought look this is going to be another humiliation this is going to be another terrible night in Europe and you know what it absolutely was but at least for the rest of the second half, we did get our stuff together just a little bit. We started to get a bit more on the ball. Messi certainly woke up. He had a great game today, in all fairness. Look, the scoreline was poor for Barcelona, but I thought he was probably the best player on the pitch, along with Araujo and also Ricky Puch in the second half, where I'll be getting on to. But I think for Barcelona, nothing much else happened. You look at Trincao and Pedri really struggling on the wings. We kept on trying to get forward at Juventus, but they were so good in their block back there. And as you would expect, they hit us hard on the counter-attack with Morata, with Ronaldo, and we definitely struggled there I think we could have got some goals back Buffon made some smart saves you look at the penalty shot we could have had for me this is a penalty on Messi from McKenney. I would have certainly given it 
I cannot believe they've given the one on Ronald Araujo down the other end and not that trip from McKenney on Messi. Again, another really bad refereeing decision, but I'll try and get away from the refereeing decisions because Barcelona go in at half time, 2 0 down, and again in absolute turmoil. But we come up to the second half here, bringing Martin Braithwaite on for Francisco Tenincao. And again, I didn't really have any hopes for this second half. Maybe there was a glimmer just thinking, can we maybe lose 2 1 or can we draw this somehow and just finish this top spot? Please, can you give us some respite at least? But but no, again, five minutes into the second half, Juventus get yet another penalty. This one for me is a penalty with the new laws with VAR. Longley, he cannot just handball the ball there in the penalty area. It's always going to be given. Ronaldo steps up. He scores his second penalty and Juventus lead by three goals to nil. What I'll say about Ronaldo is that I have a lot of respect for the guy for what he's done. I don't think he's anywhere near to Messi in terms of you look at the best of all time, the best player in the world. Look, what I'll say about Ronaldo is he's going to get the headlines, but there's absolutely no way you can praise him for that performance. Yes, he scored two nice penalties. That's it. The guy practically didn't touch the ball. You compare Messi's performance tonight to Ronaldo's, it's polar opposites in terms of dominating the game, using great link-up play with his teammates. Ronaldo did none of that. He just scored two penalties. And I think once it was 3-0, we all kind of felt, yep, this is the lowest of the low again. We've been here before. This is absolutely abysmal from Barcelona. And Ronald Koeman is in deep, deep trouble right now. And he made some interesting calls from the bench. Because not long after we conceded our third, he hauled off Jordi Alba. He hauled off Clement Longley. And he threw on Firpo and Umtiti. And for me, Ronald Koeman is making some big big calls from that bench. Really big calls because this is a dodgy decision sort to make in this sort of complexion, in my opinion. Whether it's the right thing or not, you know what I say? Fair enough. We're in an absolute state right now. If you want to jungle up the players and really get into them and make statements, go for it, mate, because it's we're honestly at the lowest of the low here. I just think in terms of keeping harmony, in at least keeping some sanity within that dressing room, whether that was the right decision or not, I'm not entirely sure. That definitely could shake some more things up. What's going to go on behind the scenes after this game? We honestly do not know. But right now, Barcelona, oh, there's so much going on. We're in another absolute state of chaos, is what I'd say. And the game was just really poor as a whole, wasn't it? At least for the rest of the second half, we had some decent possession. We did try to create chances. Messi was getting on the ball a lot. Griezmann hit the crossbar with a header. Uh, we could have had a penalty, but it was actually offside. Griezmann again, very, very poor really throughout the whole game. But like I said, Messi had a really good game. When the Vicky Puch came on, he played really well for me. He's just perfect for Barcelona in midfield. For me, we have to go back to a 4-3-3. We have to bring Ricky and Alan in, and we have to have Pjanic sitting beneath them. That's my opinion. I think we also need to use natural wingers. I know we don't have a lot in the squad right now, so you know what? Maybe put Messi up there, put Condor on the, on the left, and Braithwaite up front. It sounds a bit ridiculous, but this is ridiculous what's going on right now. It is absolutely embarrassing. We've hit rock bottom. Let's go to things that hopefully will work. Let's try something else. I just, I just worry. I really do. Is anyone else dreading the next games coming up? Because I know I am. We've got Levante on the weekend at the Camp Nou, for God's sake. And I don't know what's going to happen. I am honestly bricking it for that fixture because I don't really want to watch this team play right now. It all feels so fragile, so nasty, so out of life, the entire club. And that is just painful, guys. It really is. Watching these performances, watching the chaos on the bench, the injuries, the panning to Messi's face, it's all a bit of a nightmare, guys. And again, for us Barcelona fans... It's another disaster evening. As final thoughts, guys, I think I've gone ahead and said most of it there. I'll probably watch back and think, hey, I should have said that as well, shouldn't I? But it's so raw and after the moment here. What I'll say is I don't really know where we go from here. Like I've said, I'm dreading the next fixtures already, really. Because if you look at who we can blame after this sort of fix, that's usually where we look first. Well, you can't blame the president. He's gone. We have no one to chuck out. That's all I can say. You can't really get rid of the coach because we don't have a president or a board to sack him. So we're just stuck with the same players. And of course, we don't have a January transfer window because the elections are too late, we don't have any money as it is, we cannot sell people, and it is an absolute state and a mess. The club is in absolute turmoil. So that is probably where I'm going to leave you this evening. So I won't put you into any more pain, any more suffering. If you have enjoyed the video and you think I've made some relevant points, please let me know in the comments. Let me know all of your thoughts, guys. I'll be getting back to you. We can have some discussions there because I'm sure you will have plenty to say about this performance. Where do we go from here, honestly? I've got little idea. I'm already thinking, what lineup would I play against Levante? What's going to happen in the future? And it's just boggling my mind. What on earth is going to happen with the near future of this club? I do not know. Is there a way we can bring elections forward? Is there a way we can change something? 
It's all going to be discussed, I suppose, in the coming days. There are going to be some big days coming up for Barcelona. We've suffered another disaster. We finished second in our group right away. Haven't really mentioned that too much, but yes, we are now second. We will be facing a tough team in the round of 16. And let's just get it out here, guys. We're probably going to be exiting at the round of 16 stage, unless we get some serious luck from the draws. I'm looking at Chelsea, a Bayern Munich, that sort of calibre opposition. Manchester City, Liverpool, we could be straight out of this competition. And maybe that's for the best because we look weak right now. We're in an absolute state. And that's all I'm going to say. Please leave all your thoughts down below. I'm going to head off for the evening. And wow, what on earth?